Hi, we're Periwinkle Planner Co. and we hope you enjoy the video. Good morning, it's Christine from Periwinkle Planner Co. and today I'm going to do a flip through of my January Franken Planner. Um, currently, I took it all out since tomorrow's February 1st and stuck it on separate uh, smaller discs just so I could do this flip through and but then after I'm done with filming this I'm going to take each section and put it away into the original planner Which I have stored over on my shelf So let's begin <laughs> So I don't have any dividers or anything in here. So I'm just gonna flip through page to page and show you what it looks like This is my teacher planner where I cover up the days of the week and put different categories. And I use this for wellness. I put my mood for the week using my mood key. It wasn't a very good week, as you can tell, <laughs> overwhelmed. And then I describe why I'm feeling that way. And then I use my Versa and write down my, uh, the data for my sleep and my steps and then what I'm trying to focus on that day. So this was the first week of January. And the second week I got the flu, so I was sick. <laughs> and the third week, got some okay days in there and some angry days in there, crabby angry. And this week, tired. And then I highlight if I hit my step goal for that day or week and then this is the current week where it starts into February so I'm gonna have to pull keep this around for two more days and then I will be into my uh, February Franken planner so that's the end of that section and then we get into the rest of my wellness where I use um, a vertical planner and I use the month for gratitude so I really like looking at these at the end of the month because I wrote down something every single day that made me grateful. And it also gives me some memories for that month too. I try and add different things in, different lettering or stickers just to decorate it a little bit. And I always fill out the monthly mantra, which this one was my word of the year for 2020, which is learn. And then the weeks. I have a goal for the day. I write down how I'm feeling um, because I want to keep track of uh, aches and pains and, and you know just symptoms if I have a cold or whatever's going on just to see how it feels and I'm trying to tie that in sometimes with uh, the weather or what I eat or what I do just for some information and then down here I write down usually five usually five words or if there's more room I write down this one's got eight that one's got eight just to describe the day from when I got up to the end of the day and here's again the week that I had the flu so I didn't do a whole lot those two days this one's a little more full even had to write down the bottom on these two. This was last week. I really like this one. This one I added in a little color and a little fun. And here's the current week. So we still have two days left in the week for February. And then we move on to my catch-all planner and I do use my um, currently pages to write about things that happen in January and things that I'm hoping to happen in February. And here is my um, calendar for January and I use this by color coding um, for my family members and for things going on for the house for everybody. Just to keep track and this is an, a nice way to write down things that are going on and you don't have to worry about, oh, I can't write that down in there because it will make it look ugly. Well, this is just functional for me, so it doesn't really matter. And this was my first week in the Homebody dashboard planning. And I had the idea to highlight things when they were complete and actually I 
hate that. <laughs> I think it looks makes it look really messy. So um, not real happy with this week. And I did it again the next week. <laughs> and then I decided to only do it on my to-do list and not over here. And I think it makes it look a lot better. I also put the weather this week on a sticker and I thought that was really cute. And then this week I used the Homebody stickers, finally. I've had them forever and I hadn't used them yet. So of course it ties in because they're meant for this planner. And this is the current week. It's a little bit jumbled for me, I don't know. So, um, since I'm still not sure if I'm liking this, it's very functional, but when I look at this, it just kind of makes me anxious. <laughs> so I bought the um, Planner Babe Vertical Planner, and I will be planning in that for February, and then deciding which one I want to go back to, or keep switching just to keep it up, or we'll see, we'll see what happens. I use a student planner for keeping track of my bills. So I have the monthly in here, and then I have um, each of the weeks where I write down bills that are due and paid and all that information, and I'm not going to be showing that, so I'm just getting to where that's done. Okay, and then we move into my Amy Tangerine Planner that I use for our Etsy store. And uh, here's the monthly. I wasn't exactly sure how I was gonna use it, so I, it's a mess. I put in a few project pages with ideas and then I just kind of wrote things down when I worked or when I didn't, when I had the flu. And then on the weeklies, I put down sales for the day, um, I guess things, notes maybe, <laughs> and then some to-dos. And I just kept doing it that way. Again, this week I added in a little, this was from my calendar, my desk calendar and thought it was cute. And a receipt and this is the current week and uh, I don't know I decorated this one not sure if I like that better like that more and I kind of need to change this up I'm not exactly liking how this work is working so February is going to be a little different and then I just tape this on to the next planner because Along with my Etsy store, I have the social media planner for this YouTube channel and uh, some video ideas I wrote down and some other notes. And I tried to do more video ideas and a brain dump. And then I just kind of wrote down when videos were scheduled on the monthly. And then during the week, I put stats and then um, Instagram and YouTube. And I do love this planner. I'm not sure if I like how this is working either. There could be some changes coming up for February because I ordered um, an Erin Condren academic planner for my social media and Etsy store. I'll put the picture of the cover right here. And so I'm going to try and combine these two planners into that. I don't know if I'll have it in time to start February. I may have to actually start it in March, but we'll see. So I don't know. I'm just trying to find something that works for me. I'm not sure or I like the Franken planning, but I don't know. Just trying something different. I think as planners, we all try something different from time to time, don't we? My last section is just horizontal, the horizontal planner, which um, was with this cover that I just stick in the back and I um, just either brain dump or, or write things down, how I'm feeling, anything. Just if I feel like writing that day, this is a section that I can come back here and just work some stuff out. Some days I do, some days I don't. And that is it for my January flip through. See you in February.